Hello my very most beautiful Pisces. How is everyone? I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So my lovelies, we are going to be doing your May 30th weekly reading. This is a general reading and it may not be able to resonate for all of you. So if you guys want something that is meant for your exact energy, then I do have personals open and everything that you'll need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding from my most beautiful Pisces, please. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through, and may they please find those who need to hear it. Please show me Pisces energy, a very clear message with a very clear understanding. All right, my loves, let's take a look and see what we've got going on for you. We got the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck for the general overall energy. That is your energy, Pisces, as well. So let's take a look at this. Yeah, I do feel like there is something, whether you had to walk away from somebody or they walked away from you. Either way, I do feel like you're feeling very like out of control of the situation. Like There's just nothing that you can do. Okay, that's kind of how it feels. Um, anyways, so it's like feels like it's out of your hands. So whether you had to walk away because someone's actions kind of forced your hand or because, you know, somebody walked away from you, either way, it just kind of feels like your hands are tied. It feels like, you know, the situation is out of your control, out of your hands. Um, and that can be very difficult to deal with. That can be a very frustrating feeling. We have the Eight of Wands here for your communication. So I definitely feel like there is some communication. We're going to take a closer look at that in a moment um, when we clarify. But I definitely feel like either you are expressing some feelings around this energy or somebody is expressing some feelings around this energy to you. We have the Ten of Pentacles here for your emotions. I feel like you guys are really just trying to um, regain some stability after this situation. And that could just be focusing, you know, spending a lot of time with your family, focusing on your family, focusing on, um, you know, close friends, focusing on work, focusing on your finances, that kind of thing. Um, and I feel like it's just trying to find a really grounded energy to kind of latch on to, um, to kind of deal with some of these more emotional energies. Okay. I feel like that's what you're, you're trying to do, trying to just focus on what you can control. Um, especially if you're feeling very out of control in different areas of your life. Um, you know, really focusing on the things that you do have control. I do feel like it's kind of making you feel a little bit better this week. We have the Empress energy for what your intuition is trying to tell you. So some of you guys, I feel like, especially if somebody's walking away from you or, you know, didn't something where like cheating or something of that nature that caused you to have to walk away. Either way, I do feel like it could have affected, negatively impacted or affected the way that you are feeling about yourself on a physical standpoint. Um, or even, you know, as a person too, but it's just yourself. I'm really feeling like self-esteem energy with that. You're not maybe feeling the most attractive. You're not really feeling the best at this time. I'm making sure that we're not taking stuff on that's not us, you know, taking things on that aren't really true. Okay, we have the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse here for what you are trying to ground. So I feel like there's something here that you are, I don't know, that you're tired of waiting for, you're getting impatient in. We're going to look and see what that energy is about in a moment. And I feel like it could just be moving on um, or the fact that some, but you're still very, very affected by a person or a situation. With this four of pentacles in the reverse here, this is um, what your stability looks like this week. So I do feel like you are trying to release something here you are trying to release somebody you don't want to still be so impacted by um you know by this situation by this person even if it is something that is very recent i just feel you being very frustrated like why why can't i just forget about this why can't i just get over this you know it's just wanting to rush the healing process so i feel like that's something that you guys could be getting very impatient with this week something that you're frustrated about 
And you know, there's no timestamp on healing, but it is frustrating when something still affects us or we can still feel someone's energy, especially if it's been some time and just being really this energy of just wishing that we could just, you know, be healed already. We could just be over it already. Um, we have the Ten of Wands here in the reverse for what you are creating. So I do feel like you are moving to a place of being able to put some of this down. I feel like you've been carrying a lot with you. I think you guys have been taking on some stuff that maybe maybe isn't yours to take on. Maybe some of this responsibility that isn't yours to take on when it comes to why something didn't work or why somebody chose to make the choices that they did or you know why somebody left i feel like you guys could be putting a lot on you that's just really not meant to be there um so one of the things i feel like you are creating this week is being able to put some of that down okay to be able to to get some of that off of you it does kind of feel like a weight off of your shoulders and maybe whatever this communication is i am kind of intuitively feeling that whatever this communication is does kind of help you do that so maybe somebody comes in and apologizes or maybe somebody comes in and you know just something that you see or something that you hear something somebody even tells you you know um or something that you read something you know that really does help you see a new perspective and allow you to kind of put some of that down you have the chariot here for what you're destroying so we're going to need to take a look at that because i do feel like even if you are putting some of this down i feel like you're still not moving forward and we're going to need to take a look at that um it can also just be a lack of feeling like a lack of guidance so that could be one thing that you're destroying is maybe you were waiting for somebody else to kind of you know step in or take the lead in this situation and that could be something that you are letting go of as well so we're going to need to clarify and see what that's about in a moment for what your challenge is this week we have the ace of cups in the reverse so feeling like something like your feelings are unrequited or feeling just overwhelmed by um emotions in general i also feel it's just like it could be dealing how do i want to put it you know, just not handling our emotions in the best way because they do feel so big and so overwhelming. Not letting that kind of overtake us is going to be very important. We have the Queen of Wands in the reverse for what you don't see coming. So I do feel like this is also, it's like not wanting to be social, not wanting to put yourself out there, not wanting to maybe go out or hang out with friends or, you know, maybe it's like getting into a little bit of a hermit mode for some of you for others of you i still feel like this is more of a like back to that self-esteem stuff feeling a lack of confidence um you know that could be hitting you really hard this week too so we're just going to grab another deck we're going to clarify some things and see what is going on so tell me about this emperor in the reverse why is the emperor in the reverse here the queen of cups so you really miss this person. A lot of you guys, I feel like this is the person that left or they, you know, like I said, they did something that caused you to have to. But um, yeah, you're really missing this person. We have a few cards for cancer here. It doesn't have to be a cancer. You also have um, Sagittarius showing up, Pisces as well. Those are the ones that are sticking out to me the very most at this time. Um, but with this energy here, I do, I feel like you're really missing this person and you feel like there's just nothing that you can do about it. Um, you feel like you can't do anything to, you know, make yourself heal faster, to forget this person, but you can't do anything to, um, you know, get them back either or make things work. So there's just a very frustrated, um, out of control kind of a feeling there. Tell me about this eight of wands energy. What is that about? The sun card. So there could be some kind of communication that comes in, um, that does make you really happy okay now whether that is somebody that is like a friend or a family member something that supports you something that you just hear that really does help uplift you something that makes you happy okay so there is some kind of positive communication coming in this week um, and i really do like that i also feel like it's kind of with the sun card being here i do feel like it kind of sheds light onto um onto some new viewpoints or sheds light onto some things that maybe you needed to hear or maybe you needed to see in order to kind of lift your spirits or help you help you move through some of these difficult energies. Like I said, I feel like the Ten of Pentacles is just you really focus on your family, your friends, your support, your finances, the things that you guys can really focus on here. Tell me about this Empress energy. Some of you guys could be experiencing an increase in finances and stuff as well. Um, so that's really nice. Tell me about this Empress energy. The Knight of Swords. So there's definitely some kind of communication that is coming in for you guys here. Absolutely. And it is very positive. Some of you guys could even be um, receiving some kind of positive news or um, 
you know, communication surrounding an increase in your finances. I also feel like something that you could, something that you could, communication that could be coming in for you um, when it relates to how you feel about yourself. Okay, so you could be getting a lot of compliments. Maybe, maybe you go to work and, you know, someone's like, oh, you know, you look so nice today. Something of that nature, guys. Um, somebody could be saying something that uplifts your spirits here. Okay. Somebody could just give you, shed some light on a situation or the way that you've been viewing it. Maybe you haven't even realized that you've been putting that on you, you know, placing the blame on you when it's not meant to be there. So someone could just be, you could be having a really positive conversation with somebody or hearing something that just really helps you out. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, I feel like you guys are getting frustrated and impatient. Um, some of you guys, especially if it's been a while, maybe you guys have been single for a while and you're getting frustrated and impatient while you haven't, you know, found anybody else. Others of you, you just want to feel good on your own. Okay, you want to get to this solid, independent place where you feel good on your own, where you're not hurt and affected by this situation any longer. Tell me about this Four of Pentacles in the reverse, please. The Ace of Swords. So this is what your stability looks like. Like I said, there's definitely some kind of communication that comes in that does, I do feel like helps you move forward a little bit. It does help you move on a little bit. It helps you put some of this down. It helps uplift you. It helps change in perspective. Okay, there is some. There is definitely something coming in that does make you feel a little bit better this week, Pisces, okay? Tell me about this Ten of Wands in the reverse. Got the Five of Pentacles. So... Some of you guys could have been feeling very just hurt and very abandoned, um, you know, very left out in the cold. I feel like that energy is going to be lightening up this week. Like I said, there's some kind of change in perspective or some kind of something coming in that does help uplift you this week. I do feel like a, a shift in your energy for the better, okay? Um, your, I do feel like that energy lessens up a little bit. Tell me about this chariot energy. Got the page of swords. Some of you guys are going to stop um, looking at this person's stuff. So for some of you guys, you guys could be looking at this person's social media. You guys could be, you know, um, doing that kind of a thing. And I feel like it's keeping you in this energy. It's keep preventing you from being able to move forward. Okay. It's keeping you there. Some of you guys are recognizing that. And some of you guys are going to, you know, be cutting that off. That's why it's showing up in what you're destroying. You know, you're going to be removing this person from your life and in the ways that you can. So maybe that looks like stop asking friends about them. Maybe that looks like, you know, stop checking their social media, that kind of a thing. Um, because it's just keeping you in that energy. Tell me about this ace of cups in the reverse. So this is what your challenge is. Yeah, just having a hard time, okay, moving forward. Um, it's like, I feel like that's one of the reasons why you guys stop looking at stuff, okay, is I do feel like you're realizing where it's delaying you being able to move forward. It's delaying you being able to, um, you know, to heal from this. You're, you're like, you want to heal from this. You want to be able to move on from this. And then you're starting to recognize the things that are making that difficult for you to do. And I feel like you guys are working on that. Tell me about this Queen of Wands in the reverse why is that here for what pisces doesn't see coming you have the six of pentacles some of you guys could be getting too much of your how do i want to put this um some of you guys could be putting too much emphasis and importance on other people what other people think of you um instead of yourself okay you're letting too many too much outside things and too many too much stuff from other people um, dictate how you feel about yourself. And I, I feel like that is something that um, you guys are really noticing this week as well, where somebody's inability to see your value does not decrease your value, okay? And the Queen of Wands in the reverse can also just be, you know, recognizing where there's some actions that you want to work on maybe in the past you've given too much to connections and that is why you know you feel so lost you know when they don't work out um because you gave so much to it maybe you feel like you overgave in a in a connection and that could be something where you're recognizing you know what i don't want to do that any longer so i do feel like there are some there's some lot of clarity coming in for you this week there's something very positive that comes in that does kind of help move you forward. It helps allow you to, um, you know, move past something that you've been struggling with. But I do feel like a lot of that comes with you having some realizations and making some changes this week. We're going to grab another deck and we're going to take a look at some advice for you guys. What advice do we have for Pisces? What advice do we have for Pisces? Any advice that we have for Pisces? 
We have the King of Wands. So yeah, there's some actions. I feel like you guys are going to be focusing on what you want and what steps you need to do that. If if releasing this and healing this and um, you know being able to move forward is what you want, then I feel like you guys are you know figuring out what steps you need to take and then taking them with that King of Wands here. I also feel like some of you guys are really going to be focusing on um, like a side business, a hustle, your business, your passion, um, your work, whatever it is, because I feel like you're going to be like kind of transmuting energies and really putting your focus on that. And it's really propelling you forward. Ten of Pentacles, the Empress, the Emperor, you know, there's definitely... Um, there is you have and you have two sets of divine counterparts i very strongly feel that there is something like this is trying to get cleared away pisces because there's a divine counterpart trying to come in for you okay and this is kind of like like okay it's time to move forward it's time to help you the universe is helping you um with supporting energies to be able to put this down to be able to move forward um to create space for something that is meant for you and the Queen of Wands, yeah, exactly. I could not have done this better. I couldn't have picked that better myself. Um, if I tried to, we have the King and Queen of Wands. There is a divine counterpart coming in for you. But first, we have to clear away things that just aren't meant to be there. Um, and I feel like that is what Spirit wants you to hold on to, that things, you're not going to be like in this energy forever. You are going to heal. You are going to move forward. Maybe it's not happening as quickly as we would like it to, and it's difficult, but you're getting there, okay? Um, and I feel like you guys are taking a lot of steps this week to get there. So that is what I have for you. If it resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. If it doesn't, check out your other placements. Everything that you guys are going to need to know, whether it's about this reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that is going to be in the description box below for you. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And most important, guys, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, just go ahead and put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you. So I am sending so much love and light until next time.